Hello again, this is the Water Man. This is a Spiritual Toolbox Shore uh, prequel, if you want to call it that, uh, for John chapter 4, verse 21 now, okay? In verse 21 of John chapter 4, in the King James Version, it says, Jesus saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Okay? Now, <clears throat> a question we need to ask yourself in this. When you're talking to Jesus, uh, Jesus, Yahweh of salvation, right? Setting continuously and ongoing uh, the present tense at the present and imperfect tenses ongoing continuous okay it's now inside us and we're woman at the well right whoever's going through the eye of the storm in this uh cosmos thinking or universal thinking in here god's working in here at, on each individual thought process right he's changed it from dark ignorance of his love to light uh, giving us the opportunity to grow into that permanent fixed position in him higher and higher and higher into a superior position huh way of thinking all right now he's talking to this woman at the well us uh, okay and uh <clears throat> question we have to ask is is one attaching joining to adhering to God within in the storms of your life in this eye of the storm or are you attaching joining to your own righteousness or your own Jebusite thinking the one from Jebus that uh do do don't don't what's good and what's bad you're making, trying to make up your own mind instead of God. Huh? Instead of attaching to God's right-mindedness, you're attaching to your own right-mindedness. Let's go over this. I've, I've covered this before, but let's just, I'm just going to cover, I'll go to it a little bit, okay? Deuteronomy 7.1. Okay? I'm just going to read it from the King James Version, Okay? Now, these ites, these image nations, these nations, these imaginations that's in here, and theirs is actually nations, right? But it's talking about these image nations in here. They're false images. They're not the true king, not from the true king, the thr true prop, through the true thought processes of God. They're all those false ones, okay? Now, I'm going to read it out of the King James Version, and I'm going to just go over just briefly what each one of these, uh, just as a reminder, what these things are, okay? When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, to drive out those old things, and to occupy in its place, right? And hath cast out many nations, many of those imaginations, those old carnal, non-spiritual nations, okay? Little bit by little bit by little bit. A dark thinking and replaced it with this light thinking in these storms of our lives, right? Okay, uh, let's see. Whether thou goest to possess it, and hast cast out many nations before thee, okay? Now, let's go in and start listing them. It starts telling about them. The Heatites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations or this imaginations, these false images. Don't get into that false image worship, that idolatry. Not just a little statue out here. It's inside. God's what? Chopping out, offering in these storms of, of our minds to chop out that wooden 
humanistic thinking, a little bit at a time, that, or skim off this dross, this hard fallow ground, a little bit at a time that he's melting out, he's bringing up his argument, his case, his, in, ex, his explanation, and his intensification to melt it out, or to offer to chop it out. He's giving you the opportunity for him to do it, to give the increase. Chop it out and increase it, giving, replacing it with his enlightened spots of brilliant light, glory, his light. God is light. God is love. Right? You got to put that little sheet of light on top of this fraction and then start letting it build, right? By everything that he's given you, this light that he's given you inside, plus taking that seed and letting it gap fill. Jump from this one, e to negative 35 to one, plus all that he's given you, and it jumps you to the next. It makes it grow brighter and brighter and brighter, more glorious, okay? So he's taking out all these heights, okay? These seven nations that's greater and mightier than thou, than you are, okay? Now let's go over these these nations real quick, okay? I've already did them before, but just as a reminder, okay? The parasites, which is that independent nature. That independent thing. It's lying, telling you, you're, you know, you can do it your way. You can have it your way. Independent of God's way. It's got to be God's way. Yahweh is salvation. Not your way is salvation. Your righteousness your JBL site thinking, any of these other ones, the Hittite, Hivite, all these things. Okay? Now, that parasite. Actually, let's, let's go down. Let's go right down through the verse. Let me cover it this way, okay? The, uh, so we'll get them in this order. Same order that uh, King James has it. The Hivites, or Hittites, I'm sorry. The Hittites. Let me find it right here. I know what it is. But. Okay. Hittites. That's fear or terror. The thoughts. Hmm? To fear God. No, no, no. To reverence God. To be in all. Knowing that God is the greatest. Not this other thing that teaches you to fear God. Uh huh? God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Huh? That's a carnal, it's a mistranslation there, isn't that? In that the fear of God is the beginning of all our sin, and that's reverence, honor, respect. Oh, ah, God, you are the greatest. Going through God's process and greenlighting God and let him bring that. Then a newer level of her charm, her charm, back to you level so that you can gain the ability to love him as he first loved you and then gain more ability as he chops out that old wooden humanistic thinking heats it up heats up that fallow ground hard fallow ground and skims off the draws the screen like him green light shall I cut up this this humanistic thinking I love you son I love your daughter yes sir daddy amen I agree yes sir let's go get it get Huh? You're vomiting out. You're spewing out. Just like Daddy God. <laughs> you get sick with extreme disgust. That old stuff. Turn from it. Go back to God. And he increases it. The brightness. The glory. Okay? Now. <clears throat> so that he tight. Remember T for terror. It's that fear. We gotta get rid of that fear. Little bit by little bit by little bit. In each and every thought process. These things are what down here? Greater and mightier than thou. Great, and the King, New King James says these nations are greater and mightier than you. Okay? Now, the second one. The Gergesites. Okay? And the Gergesites is a deceitfully lying nature. Oh, you can lie a little bit. Just tell a little lie. A little white lie. You're not really lying to him. You're just technically not telling them the truth. 
any deception. Hmm. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. That darkness is like lying, ignorance, deceitful stuff, keeping you not knowing. God is not just neglected to tell, not tell them what they really needed to know to make the decision. And you knew you was allowing them to de be deceived. Hmm? All kinds of gray areas in there. That's lying, deceiving people. Huh? Don't deceive. Don't. And you lie the loudest when you lie to yourself. You're in deception. Deception, where it comes from within. What was that? I think it was in Mark chapter 7. The verses, I think, 1 through 23 or something. I think it's in there. Okay? Now, I'm not going to go there right now, okay? It would take too long, okay? I think that's where it's at. Okay. Now, so we cover the Hittites and the Gergesites. The tear and the lying, Okay? And the Amorites, remember that one? Amorite, arrogant nature, pride, arrogance, not a good thing. Haughtiness, H-A-U-G-H-T-Y, ha being haughty. I'm better than you, man. Hmm? We're number one and you guys suck. All this stuff, thinking yourself better. I am the greatest. <laughs> God is the greatest. Submit to God. Your old car mind doesn't want to submit to God, right? This is out of the yuck stuff. None of the devil. That's thinking out external. That's stupid. It's of your own carnal mind. You yuck. Huh? That's enmity with God. This stuff's enmity. These thought processes. I nations. These imaginations in your mind. You gotta get rid of them. God does it. Not you save yourself. God saves you. God is the savior. God is the true king. Evicting this false king for you. But you just gotta agree, 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 agree. Wholeheartedly and qualify with God. Can't be false. Any falsity. Any darkness hidden. Trying to keep someone back for yourself. Some of the seen here and taste touch and smell this diarrhea thinking for yourself. What do you mean I gotta give it all up, God? Yes, yeah, I surrender all. Well, are you doing that or not? Hmm? If you're not, you're not qualifying with God. You're trying to ride the fence. And to him that rides the fence, to the person that rides the fence, they get a sore crotch or get vomited, spewed out. Where you're saying, in Jesus' name, I'm riding this fence. <laughs> you're not living, acting. You're not being in the name of what Jesus' name means. Yahweh is salvation. You're not going full-hearted into God, being a widow to that old thing. You're trying to hang on to it a little bit. Try to save a little bit of this stuff. Might need it. No. Get rid of it. Ooh, yuck. Spewed out with extreme disgust. Right? Okay. Now, so we covered Heatite, that's terror. Gergeshite, lying. Amorites, that's our pride, arrogance. Oh, Holly does. Yeah, I'm number one. Okay. And the Canaanites. Okay, let's get to the Canaanites. Okay, Canaanites is the, a zealously rebellious nature. Either they know the right, right way or not, they're they're gonna go again buck against everything. Huh? What do you mean? I got a right? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to give up nothing for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't I dip my money? I'm belly is too much bull crap. Hmm? Does that sound like the grouchy? Bears of the Ninevite city at guard towers. Grouchy bear just woke up. Hey, just go back to sleep. Go back in your own carnality. Grouchy bear. You go deeper and deeper and deeper down. Because it's rejecting. God's rejecting that stuff. To be carnally minded is death. It's separation from God. 
Been this old grouchy bear, huh? And, and it just eating, partaking of all this yuck stuff, this carnality like these Canaanites, the ones from the, huh? I'd imagine if it, you're eating into that bull crap, this zealously uh, rebellious nature. Just looking to stir up trouble, to argue, to complain about everything, huh? It's in all, that's in that these things are put in as for us to overcome, okay? Now, so we've covered the Hittites, that's terror, Gergesites, lying, Amorites, pride, arrogance, okay? And the Canaanites, that's right, zealously rebellious stuff, and the Parasites. Now, the Parasites, that's the one I'll start with, but we're, it's the independent nature, independent of God's will. Be done. God, your will be done. Now this is independent of that. It's my way. I'm going to do it my way. Huh? I think we got, you got a right to fight, to eat bull crap. Hmm? You got a right to fight like dumbness. Huh? You're not speaking the love of God. You're eating a you're eating you're eating and living, existing, existing, existing as a donkey, being this parasite. And it's in your mind. It's that part of that dark thinking, like dark energy that pushes any truth of God away from other truths of God, <laughs> pushing it away faster and faster and faster, like in the natural. A dark energy out in space they're saying it's pushing. Hmm. Galaxies from God. Huh? Any it's grown deeper and darker and desolate. Your land, grown desolate. See, God's putting it back together. You gotta go God's green way to get back into the enlightenment. To the wedding and supper of the Lamb. Over and over and over and over in each and every thought process. And it's a long way, each one, to get up there. And it's whatever order, whatever level, God has put you in the body. Are you going to get all that you can get? Are you going to go with this Jebusite thinking, any one of these ites, this false ites? Are you going to be in idolatry, this false image worship? Are these things that are greater and mightier than you at the end of this Deuteronomy 7 1, right? All right. So now those parasites want to get you independent, think I can do it myself. I don't need God to save me. I can save myself. It's clearly not by might, nor by power, not by your might and your power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Agree with God wholeheartedly. It's at Zechariah 4, 6. Hmm. There's lots more. I was just quoting you a little bit, okay? Now, <clears throat> so now we got that. Let's go over them real quick. Hittites, tear, Gergesites, lying. Amorites, pride, arrogance, Canaanites, zealously rebellious, Parasites, that's that independent stuff of God, independent of God. Now the Hivites, remember the V, that's just violence. I'm just like, let me look, Mitch. Yeah, that's that violent nature, character and authority. I'm on base nature, man, I'm gonna knock you out. You stepped on my toe, I'm going to tear off your head. I'm going to throw rocks at you. All kinds of hmm, retaliation, revenge, not vindication of God. Letting God take and vindicate you. It says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. In the King James, but that word's vindication. God's working to prove to you, show you with his, in his case, his argument, his explanation, and his, the intensity required to get you to see. You're innocent. Just come back to me. Agree with me and I'll pull you out of this stuff. You don't have to worship these, these false images in your mind. Don't buy into that bunch of poop, poop, crap, poop crap. Just cause there's, you know, it's like it's one with 35 zeros after it in each spot, in each of dark thinking, poop thinking, manure, in each thought process. You got one little seed in there. Feed that seed. God, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Huh? God will increase it. Just trust in the Lord with all your heart. 
and lean out on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct he will direct your path okay <clears throat> now so let's go over them a little bit hmm? Hittites, terror fear false evidence appearing real right Gergesites, lying ooh yuck huh you lie to lot of when you lie to yourself, right? Amorites, pride, arrogance. I'm number one and nothing else. God's not number one. The me, myself, and I, that false king is number one. My own non-spiritual thinking processes. Take care of self-preservation, me, myself, and I. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's not loving your neighbor as yourself. It's not loving God with everything you got. It's not even loving yourself. It's loving that false image. You're worshiping that. You're bowing down to the other to the ground. He's licking his hand like 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 a dog licking his master's hand. Remember, I did this like three of those spiritual toolbox shorts on that proscuneo. Yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. Proscuneo, huh? Uh, okay, so now, I don't know, Hittites, Terror, Gergesites, Lion, Amorites, Pride, Canaanites, a zealously rebellious, rebellious thing, the Perizzites, uh, independent of God's nature, character, and authority, they I going to do no more, me, myself, and I, okay, the Hevites, that's that violent, huh, not, not letting it be God's vindicating you, working to Show you that you're innocent. Come back to me. Come out of that hog pen. Like the prodigal son. And come back to the father's house. We'll have a great party. I'll increase you. You don't do it. You don't save yourself. God saves you. God is the savior. The deliverer. Save. Or to be saved. That's that's sozo. S-O-Z-O. It's talking about to be delivered from this old yuck stuff. Okay. Now, <clears throat> cover all the way down the Hittites and the next one. The big bad chief dog of the bunch of that old nasty things that is greater and mightier than you. The Jebusites. The one from Jesus, Jebus. J-E-B-U-S. Huh? The one from Jerusalem. That natural Jerusalem. Talk about your own natural stinking thinking. Okay? Now, then this Jebusites, don't worship them things. Don't follow them things, what they said to, to blind alpha dog. Huh? It's a religious nature filled with doo-doo. Trying to tell you to do this, do that. God says this, it's a parakeet. Weak, weak, weak. God says, God says. Twist it to, to, to your own destruction. It'll take you down the city, pop, pop, down the old stairs. Remember? Don't fall down the shitter. Ooh, uh, ee. Fall down the stairs. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh. All right, get them pale little stakes. Don't fall at Jebusite. Oh, man. Now, all seven of those is directly opposed to the fruit of the Spirit, which if you green like God, you're getting the fruit of the Spirit. You're increasing in the glory, in the love, the brightness, the dense, weighty character of God. And the fruit of the Spirit is one one overall taste, the love, the love that's beyond the mere description of words. And you're coming back to the ability to, to love God as he first loved you, that Racham. Now, in that love, there's those nine ingredients. Remember, I did 122, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 122 recordings on that uh, First Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter. Hmm? Go back and look at them. Don't remember. It's love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. There's nine ingredients. One flavor, love. Those things can't be separated. God's building this, bringing it all back. Bringing your universal thought processes back. One at a time, one little bitty spot at a time. Germinating that seed. But you have to green light, green light, green light, green light. Habitually practice doing this to come up 
Whoop, I'm coming on up. Boom, the pop, I'm back into God. To that deluxe right by the deuce and gone. I'm coming on up. I'm back into God. Well, I'm finally getting peace, oh mine. All these things can give you is at most a transitory sense of satisfaction. And then it goes to pot. Because when you eat this stuff, it tastes good in your mouth, man. I knocked the guy, knocked that guy out. I told him off, made him feel like a fool. All this stuff. I made that false images. Those, and I, and I worship those images in my mind. They said it was a good thing, and that's what I believe. I've done that all my life. Hmm? Yeah, probably. <laughs> God's wanting to deliver you from that stuff. That's old black, dark, poopy thinking. Manure. Ooh, yuck. Turn from that thing. Repent. That's in the wheel, right? And come back to God. Come out of that hog pen and quit eating on that old hog slop. Hmm? Come back to the Father's house. and He'll kill a fatted calf and have a great party for you. Right? Hmm? Again and again and again. Huh? He's bringing you out. Okay? Now, let's jab you side. Oh, that's one, one, another place I know. I've been here before. Uh, First Chronicles, chapter 11, verse 6. Okay, this is just a little review and stuff, but it's breaking it down, making it practical. And this is kind of a prequel to first, uh, to John, chapter 4, verse 21, okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to read this one little, one verse, okay? I think. <laughs> okay. Now, in uh, First Chronicles chapter 11, verse 6, in the King James Version, it says, And David, which is a type of the Christ, okay, said, Whosoever smiteth or kills, vomits that stuff out with the extreme disgust of Jebusite. Ooh, yuck, a doo-doo diddy. Ooh, yuck, what is that? The zealous nature filled with doo-doo. Doo-doo, 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 doo Huh? Whoever shall, the one from Jebus, okay? They wouldn't touch that Samaritan woman with a 10 foot pole, right? And Jesus was sitting at the well of your heart, my heart. Everyone's, huh? Okay. When he's working, when, when he's offering, Yahweh's the salvation in the eye of this storm. Agree with me and drink this living water. Don't drink that Jacob's well water. Oh, man, that's nasty. This Jebusite saying, do it, 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 do it this way, do it that. This is a good thing. This is a bad stuff. It's just cool, eh? Mm -mm. Nope. Tastes good in your mouth. Bitter in your stomach, right? Now, let's read this again. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusite first shall be chief and captain. First fruit. Hmm. So Joab, the son of Zeruai, went first and killed and was chief. Okay? There's more. There's a lot more in there. I'm just touching on it, okay? This is a spiritual toolbox short. And it's, I'm using it like it's a prequel to this um, John chapter 4. Verse 21, I'm going to read that to you one more time before I start doing, going into it more, okay? Remember, we're going into this, we're, we're wanting to gain something, get as much understanding as possible. Not just skim over it, man, I did it, post my ticket, and I did what I was supposed to, no, I ain't good enough, get as much as you can. Do you want as much as you can? Do you want to be able to take and identify this is God's righteousness? This stuff here is ooh, false image worship. Whether it says it's good or bad, I see you. I'm making a better choice. I see you. You're being exposed. I don't have to agree with your crap thinking. I'm not going the red way, red way because it's agreeable with me. I'm not going to take the easy peasy way. I'm going God's way. It's a narrowing path. Hmm? 
I'm going to embrace God's correction, right? Now, <clears throat> let's read this. Um, John chapter 4, verse 21. Okay, real quick again. I'm going to read it this time out of the New King James Version, okay? It flows a little easier. We'll be breaking it down a lot more, a lot better, okay? Now, verse 21 in, in John chapter 4, okay? In the New King James says, Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in the in Jerusalem worship the Father. He's going to reveal how. It's his green way. Go into the green way. Go into the Father. It's not necessarily based upon what you think is good and bad. Mm -mm. My children know my voice and the voice of another they will not follow. Uh uh. That's Jacob's well, Kool Aid. Jacob's well, water. Yeah, it's going to make me bad for me. I don't care what you say, carnal mind. Just beat it. I don't really care what you say. Huh? Just beat it. Right? Now, so this has been a spiritual toolbox. Short. Okay? On all those ites, that idolatry that we got to get rid of. If you like these videos, hit like and subscribe. And I'll continue later breaking down this John 421. Bye-bye.